DeWalt came out with a new 5 amp hour power stack battery and this guy's a little larger than I expected, a little bit heavier than I expected, but the pouch style cells in here are probably going to have a very high discharge rate and that's what we're going to be testing today. If the 5 amp hour power stack is anything like the 1.7 amp hour power stack, we will find that it's output of amps is going to be phenomenal. Now this 5 amp hour power stack is much larger than what the standard 5 amp hour battery is. In fact, it's the same size as a 4 amp hour compact, but it has the thickness sort of of the 6 amp hour. Now the 6 amp hour is a little bit thicker, but it's interesting when we look at the size. So I'm expecting the output of this battery in amps to be pretty high. And what we're going to test here is not amp hour. Amp hour is amp hour. That's going to give you run times. What we're testing is power output and we're going to do that through the voltage. And we're going to see the more the voltage drops, the less the cells inside are able to discharge at a rate that's going to give out higher amps. So the higher amps the less voltage drop. We're going to go from the 2 amp hour all the way up to the 15, skipping the 12. This should be an interesting test. Stay tuned. We are in speed level 1 on drill mode with a 3 and 3 8 inch auger bit. We have a wire connected up to our battery to check the voltage. We're going to do two tests. This is a 4x4 and then we're going to go into 2x lumber. We're just going to see what's going to happen with the voltage on the battery. Let's get to it. So the 2 amp hour did not make it through this lumber. And it also stopped in this lumber. Now let's see what the 1.7 hour power stack can do. Well, we made it three quarters of the way through. Now on dimensional lumber. We are right at the end there. And this seemed to hold low 16s on the dimensional lumber. Now the three amp hour compact. We got a little bit further than the 2 amp hour. Now in dimensional lumber. We cut out again near the bottom, not all the way through like the power stack where we actually got through. Uh, so we held low 15s with the 3 amp hour on the dimensional lumber. 4 amp hour compact. We made it almost all the way through. See how it does on dimensional lumber. While it held low 15s, we did get all the way through, just like the power stack. Now the 5 amp hour power stack. and the speed that was going. Dang! Now in dimensional lumber. <laughs> that 
That held low 18s, high 17s. That's impressive. Here's a 5 amp hour XR. Let's just see if it'll go a little bit more. We are not far in at all. We got down, but we had to give it a second chance just in case it was the wood. We're probably three quarters of the way through. Now let's watch the voltage on dimensional lumber. Not going to do it. We'll give it one more chance, but we were in the low 14s. Not happening. There is a knot that we're on the edge of, but you can't see any of it in here. It just doesn't have the power. Here's the 6 amp hour. seem to have similar speed to the 5 amp hour power stack. Here's the 6 amp hour in dimensional lumber. So we cut out there right at the end as we were going through that seemed to hold mid to high 17s. Here is the 8 amp hour. It seemed to slow a little bit towards the end, but still made it all the way through. Now in dimensional lumber. That made it all the way through, but held probably low 17s. Here is the new style 9 amp hour flex volt. Notice that we're at 21 volts. I think that's the highest of any resting battery. We are in a knot here. We're running out of wood. So I got to go through this. This could kind of taint the testing slightly, uh, but let's see how it goes. So there's no doubt that that tainted the testing. As you can see, I put my body weight on it to get through because the, the screw was not drawing it down. So it did make it all the way through, had tons of power, which I think is good to show. Let's move over to dimensional lumber. Here we go. So we did not bust all the way through, but I mean, we got to the end, we were going through, and we held mid to high 18s. This dude here is probably the closest thing that we've seen so far to the 5 amp hour power stack. Yes, this is absolutely ridiculous. But we have it, so let's just see what it does. Pretty amazing so far, we're over 21 volts. Let's see what happens. It just laughed at that. Now in dimensional lumber. A 
Like many others, it cut out at the end. It was through, uh, but we held mid-19s on this thing. What a beast, but no one's going to do this. So realistically though, the flex volts seem to produce the power very similarly to the five amp hour power stack. If any of you have any flaws in that testing, I would love to hear it below in the comments. We are always trying to do better and better at showing you what these different batteries and tools will do. Now with that said, the 1.7 amp hour power stack did pretty amazing when you compare it to the three and even the four amp hour compacts in even it just, you know, the two amp hour doesn't do a whole lot in this test. But when you look at that, even when you look in close up to the normal five amp hour XR, the little power stack has some, has some chooch in it and it goes. So I really like that. Now, when you go to the five amp hour power stack and you really look down the list, and I got some notes here, we are really looking at it being compared in power output to the nine amp hour flex volt. And if we look at the size, much, much smaller. There's nothing, not even the six or eight amp hour out there that's going to give you the, the watt or amp output. So that is amazing. Now you're not gonna get the runtime out of it. Obviously it's five amp hour compared to the rest. But at the same point in time, if you're looking for a smaller lightweight battery that's gonna give you all the power that you could want in a 20 volt tool, Wow, watch out, that thing's amazing. Now, what I would love to see is that same battery in a larger flex volt. Can you imagine what we could do with that? Not only maybe even getting the amp hour up there a little more than this so that these batteries last longer, but the power output could be absolutely amazing. Now, with that said, what we're gonna do is continue on with this test with different tools to see the longevity, the if it'll heat up, how it's gonna work in different areas, the longevity of it working in a hot environment, all that fun stuff. So we're gonna go after this. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notifications of that next video. Please give us a like. We appreciate your time. Have a great day.